No worries, no worries. Undyne, how long have you been playing Dota? Um, Dota 2 or like Dota-esque games? Dota. Just Dota. So, I've been playing Dota 2 since 2011. I played Hon for about a year before then. And I, and then before that, I was playing like a mod on StarCraft that I didn't realize was modded on Dota that I just found really fun. Um, so all in all, about like, I don't know, 11, 11, 12 years. So you're an old man. I'm... I just started when I was like twelve. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. So very rude. You guys are just like yeah. prodigal gamers. You all start so young. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I started. So I actually, it's kind of funny. So I started just by playing World of Warcraft, um, and then <laughs> I was like raiding competitively when I was ten, and I had to keep. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Like I had to keep making excuses for why I had to go for dinner, and like halfway through a raid. Because my mom would call me down and she'd be like, it's time for dinner. I'm like, well, I have to, I have to go. I'm 10. I can't just tell her to like F off. Um, I have to go for dinner. Oh, fuck off. Um, I got a raid. Ah. Yeah. So, like, it's not quite the family so, like, dynamic. I, I, I came up I with so many excuses. And, um, and then eventually like the raid leader pulled me aside one day in Ventrilo back in the day. Because that was, you know, that was the comms. There was no discord. And then he was like, mate, we know you're a kid. It's fine. Like, you don't need to tell us that your brother's falling down the stairs for the third time. Like, I love just that go, idea that just like, go for dinner. Like, like you're like so secretly trying to pretend you're yeah. not a kid, and, and then they're they're hearing like, guys, it's got like it's like this yeah, really no, shrill voice. Hearing it, I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but um, I mean, I was, I don't know. I I've been very into games for a long time, so I played Low World of Warcraft. Then my brother got really into Starcraft, so I started playing Starcraft to like fit in. Um, all I ever did was Cannon Rush. <laughs> And then through that, got into uh, like Dota S games. I never looked back. Nah, this is yeah. It's, I mean, there's there's not really a game like it to be honest. League. Uh, <laughs> that League. fucking trash. No. League. All right, League's all right. Come on, it's not that bad. I mean, I've never <laughs> played it. I've played a few games of League, and I found it one extremely frustrating that there were heroes that like you have to buy and unlock and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the free system works so much better in Dota than the free system in League. Um, the fact that like every hero that I played in League is basically like variants of the same thing. They all have a dash. They all have like some invulnerability frame. They all have like some long distance, uh, like skill shot that does some damage. There's no stuns. Like yeah, I always find that crazy that they've got like their biggest stun in the game is like a two second targeted stun. It's like... Yeah, it's. It's wild. And when that goes like, out, everyone's like, wow. <laughs> and like, I mean, I have to follow it quite a bit for my job. And they released this new, like, I suppose, champion, as they call it, um, that had like a 1.5 second targeted stun, and the entire community went nuts. They were like, how is this balance? This is way <laughs> too much lockdown. It's way too powerful. And like, meanwhile, Centaur level one stun is like longer than Yeah. <laughs> like, meanwhile, in Dota, we have like four second AoE, 2000 damage stuns. Like, what? <laughs> Oh, and then you get triple ravaged, and you're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, and it's like being it's been 15 seconds since you can give your hero a command. You're just sad. Yeah, and, and then uh, like yeah. uh, the random Russian starts pinging your BKB. That's still, yeah. like, still like full duration. Then just yeah. pinging it, mass pinging it, and you're like, "Yeah, cool, oh, dude." And then you get Overwatch think... reported and banned. Mm -hmm. I do think that the free the I don't know the free to play model does have like some flaws. I was thinking about this last night because I was like. What if what if you had to pay to play ranked on each account, right? Like a fee. Like would that not just stop all Smurfs? I mean, or... I think it kill the game. To be would, no, I don't no. think it would kill the game. I think what they're more likely to do is kind of what they did in like Counter Strike, where they had like the prime matchmaking. It it does fuck all. Um, it does fuck all. Like CS:GO it did a lot at the beginning. Like Twenty quid. Yeah, but CS:GO was still like twenty. 25 quid before they added the over like the uh, prime system right and you still get like millions of smurfs millions of uh well not millions but like a lot of smurfs and hackers right it was it was pretty common like it's it's a one-time investment sort of thing so it's like yeah, it's not like stop it anyone still limit. like people couldn't have like three smurfs accounts or, oh they like, can they can you every <laughs> smurf that does that can't like just yeah, it, it won't. There won't. I mean, if you put a paywall in the in the way, there will be a reduction in Smurfs. Like, yeah. But I, I don't think it's gonna immediately fix all the issues. Like, True. I mean, Hon was another system where like you had to pay thirty quid to get the game. 
and there were still Smurfs in Hunt ten years ago. Yeah, so, like, I mean, of course. Uh, my my, uh, have you guys heard about this internet passport thing? No. It's what? like essentially like you know how there's a lot of like abuse on social media and all this kind of stuff, or like uh, or in Dota, for example, there's a lot of people who who Smurf or whatever. But there's this idea that you get an internet passport and you that's it's it's like it's like your IRL passport where it identifies you to anything that you sign up for on the internet. So, um, and you only get one. Or, you aren't support. you just Draft giving Chairman Mao more uh, what, and then, tools? I mean, that sounds like you're giving out massive amounts of your own personal info to everything yeah. that you ever sign up I'm, for. I mean, don't you always do that? N no, no, not really. Oh. Like most things you sign Let's up for with then. like an email address, and I have various different anonymous email addresses. Yeah, I just I just thought it was an interesting concept to like to try tackle like some of these like big kind of big issues that are going on. I mean, I could see that being a thing. I, the thing for me with this, like, you know, the what Dota has at the moment with like you need to have an associated phone. Uh -huh. Like, why can't they just ping that a text every four weeks? To continue well, you have to like, confirm it. Yeah. Yeah. Because like that's got from, that's got to be from buying I mean no. Like text costs nothing. Text right? costs literally nothing. You yeah. can like send a text on WhatsApp or whatever. Like everyone has it. I don't like, have WhatsApp. The fuck is WhatsApp? Okay, you're no, no. Uh, like texts are um, like almost free now. There's but no... texts are practically free. Like you can send internet texts like practically for free. And um But the thing is like the way that most Smurfs are made is that you can buy like a burner like one off telephone thing online for like five cents mm -hmm. and like that's how all the russians make their smurfs um it's but you only get access to that for like a second like you don't it doesn't it's not like your phone you don't have that number you're just mm -hmm. able to use it for like a period a short period of time so why can't they just like make it ping you a text like every four weeks or every even every two weeks like it, it's not a big deal to just insert a password every two weeks as like an authentication thing mm-hmm and suddenly, that does actually, like, it doesn't solve the issue, but it, it locks out, like, I don't know, 80% of the Smurf accounts just automatically because they've been made with a phone they don't have access to. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think that would work. Yeah, but that's and separate. Do you, and do you think that's the biggest issue facing Dota? Not at all. Uh, no, but I think it is a big one. I think a big issue right now with Smurfing is that you can literally calibrate in 9K. Like, that's kind of wild to me. I thought uh, calibration was stuck at like 3k. Yeah, they removed that without saying anything to anyone. What, really? Yeah, it was like, I mean, there was a thread on Reddit about it a few days ago by uh, Sickle, who's like this 10k Chen player. And he had a game, he had li literally posted a screenshot of an account in his game with 109 games played. It was their first calibration game, and it was in like a 9.5k average game. Oh my goodness me. Wait, I. I... Why the fuck did they remove that? I thought that was a good thing. Because people were complaining about when people are smurfing that they're ruining so many games. They're like, well, they'll ruin less games if they calibrate highly. But it just means that like people can make the accounts and sell them so much faster. So you get shitloads of account buyers. Mm. It also really reduced the price of these accounts. Because there's oh, yeah. so many of them now. <laughs> it's like the black so... market took a hit. Oh, let me yeah. see actually. But it's weird. Actually, googling his next Smurf. I mean, I, I I always just assumed that I was bad, which is why I calibrated at three k. So, but now I knew that it was a cap. I should try again. I mean, there was a cap at three point five for a long time. That's what it must have been. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Uh, years. Coincidentally, boy. You you want to know what's what's your lowest MMR ever been? Mine. Of you? Like oh, when yeah. I first started. Yeah. I, I calibrated my first account at like 1k. What were really? you trying to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I calibrated at 4.6. Oh my goodness. Uh, calibrated one... better than I... me, Pythons. Pythons. Oh, I'm not better than me, I guess. Like, back when I, I mean, I, when I was playing Hon, I was like, I don't know, 1950 or something, ELO, which was. Like in Hon, very, very high. Like the highest was like 22, 2300. So you're just a god game. Um, huh? Well, no, what I'm trying to say is that I haven't really gotten better in the last 10 years. 
Well, you're nearly uh, seven. Yeah, but, you're, but, the, but the, I think I think your skill cap is for you to get better would take uh, quite a lot of effort. He's so, lying. He's I literally know, he's not nearly seven really. k. I mean, I think like I've never been the gamer who's like insanely good mechanically. I've always been fine mechanically, but it's it's been more about like how I think about the game than what I actually do in the game. If that makes sense. Um, so you have a big IQ. I, I mean, sure. <laughs> no <laughs> need to be modest. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do have a big IQ. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm no, I totally smart. get you, though. There's some people yeah. in the world that just get video games. Like, I've got a friend who... Um, who I could be playing a game for maybe four or five months before I show it to him. He would pick it up, and within a week, he'd probably be better than me. And his, just, his gaming IQ is, is just very big he's just he's just good yeah. he's good he's like there's these just people that just get it yeah, there's some people that can just pick up pick it up and just they're just good i kind of yeah i mean i use gleed as like my main example of that like i think that i'm pretty good at just games in general um and have you guys played hades yes i've, I've heard about this yeah i i know it but i haven't played it so hades is um I can't remember what the game. is called, but it's a really, really good game. Is it? Um, is it a dungeon crawler? Is that what the game, those kind of games are called? It's a roguelike. Yeah, that's the one. Rogue. Yeah. Um, and it's a rogue light because you get stronger each time rather than it just like resetting. But like essentially, the more you play the game, the stronger you get. And the core concept of those games is that like you need to play it a lot, and you're going to die a lot, and it's going to keep resetting you. But over the time, you're going to get better at the game, and you're going to get stronger. And like. If when you first start the game, you're essentially like it would be like you're a level one hero, and then at the end of the game, you're like a level twenty five hero. Mm -hmm. okay. So like th that's like how much stronger you get. Like you're a six slotted twenty five hero at the end of the game, but at the beginning, you're like a fucking empty one slotted hero. And uh, Gleet on his third ever time playing the game cleared it, which is completely nuts. For reference, it took me like. 17 tries to clear um yeah. it takes most people like 50 to 100 based on like averages of like the totals um so for him to clear it on his third try is like that's completely insane yeah and um, i mean I'm, I'm, like i don't want to term I, I don't want to say that i'm going to coin the term gaming iq but i might but Gle or... if there is a gaming iq Gleet's gaming iq is very high yeah the synapses are just yeah. so strong <laughs> The little connection, like, you know that uh, the galaxy brain I meme. Mean, that's what his brain just looks like all the time. <laughs> this guy, I mean, I don't think he's diseased then or anything. I don't know about that, man. I mean, it's just like his brain's on fire. Is it a disease? Sounds like a gift to me, bro. True. Yeah, I'm on this uh, website. Yeah, uh, you can mm -hmm. buy this 11k MMR account for eleven thousand pounds. Oh yeah, I just, yeah. I just have hey, a spare eleven k. Dude, who's selling an eleven k account? Some guy like... called Joel Twenty Three. Joe, like, real Joe. Like, Joe? RD12 Joe. Real Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's funny because this guy thinks that his account is worth like one pound per MMR. But no, I mean, like, that's not how it works, dude. No, it's not. But that's what his, that's what he thinks. Like my account is, is apparently worth like a hundred quid. Yeah. Bro, sell that shit to cash you get yeah, the dollar go. bill. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but that's why in a lot of places, like, like, do, do you know in um in like Peru or Brazil or one of the South American countries? Sorry if that's like vaguely racist to group them all together. Like, there's a country that like a significant um market in there is selling Runescape accounts. Yeah, I, oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, well, I actually I watched a video on that like a week yeah. ago. Mm -hmm. It's uh, and, it's um, not it's not like uh, that area. It's mainly Venezuela because uh, the Venezuelan dollar is such or is it? Is yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's such a low yeah. amount due to infl inflation that the Runescape gold is worth more. Yeah, that, and people like, farm it, and like yeah, the well, developers, it's, it's their they have to be careful job. that they don't like fuck up the game too much. And when they do rollbacks and shit, they need to be really careful because it can like destroy people's lives. <laughs> like, like, how wild is that? Just the um, poor dragon farmer getting but, crushed by a company. <laughs> but there, but there are people like I mean, there's uh, there's like several like nine to ten k people whose jobs it is to just boost accounts. Like I, I you know that guy I sent you, um, yeah, yeah. the Arcorden game of, yeah. Like in his guild, there's now like eleven accounts, and they're all ranked two hundred. I don't and know. They're all, they're all just him. Like, I don't know, man. What do they do? Just sell them? I don't know, but like, they're all just him. I don't even think he sells them. He plays on all of them. I've seen it. He what doesn't. A gamer, bro. Eleven. 
He has like yeah, literally like more than ten accounts, and they're all just fucking like fuck like ten k MMR now. It's it's completely ridiculous. I He's don't understand. Psycho, like actual weirdo, like hundred percent, like probably would kill someone if he didn't play Dota or something. <laughs> But he plays like 15 games a day every day. Yeah, that's like, it's impressive. basically prison for him. Like we're yeah. keeping him away from society with that. Yeah, I mean, it's probably. Oh, he's, going, he's going pro, bro. <laughs> what like? I mean, his arc Gordon. I've never seen an arc Gordon as good True. as him. It's very good. But then, what yeah. is that like addicting sinkhole? Like, oh, I remember dude. the first day I played it. Played it for 12 hours. Didn't even notice like a minute had gone by. Like, oh, I was I've spent so way too many sucked hours. in. <laughs> How many hours have you guys got in game? Uh, like so, no, like five thousand, I think. <laughs> yeah, I just peaked five. I just got five thousand hours to know. This game is like cancer that ruins life, so I got like seven. Uh, I have like over twelve k on this account. Holy shit! Oh, another, Max, another, you need another, to get like, a life. Yeah, excuse me. I have a successful career and stuff. Uh, no, nah, this is an intervention <laughs> session. And then, but then it's like people like Thrawn, who's got like fifteen thousand. But he doesn't. He's got a, He's probably in menus right now. Hold on. Let's have a look. But he just, yeah, he's just in the main menu yeah. sitting. I, I, okay, so I, I have that, like that many, I have that many thousand hours, but I only have, only, I only have 8,000 matches. Yeah. Only. So I think matches is a, a lot of matches, metric though. than. But I have like, I think I have like four or 5,000 hours just like AFK in. <laughs> and I, I don't think it like even counts day. arcade. No, no, it would count. It would count like, anytime, anytime the game is open, it counts. Yeah. Yeah, because I know, like in Call of Duty, it only used to count game time. It didn't used to count. Yeah, oh, I would matches. love to know my actual like total game. game time. Yeah. yeah. The, the thing is, like with these ge- with this game in particular, it's so weird because like you play CS:GO, and I got to what like DMG in like what? Well, how many wins was it? It was like three, two hundred wins. So it was like five hundred matches total. Wait, really? And that, no, that wasn't. That's not like good. Because I, I think all of our friends got... Wait, was this early DMG or late DMG? Was this like free rank reset? Okay. Before rank reset. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. that's fine then. But like thinking about it, like in general, just CSGO, like even now when I look at people and how many matches they have on it now, it was like when I got like five, not 5k matches on Doha, but like maybe 3k matches on Doha, someone that I know knew who like played a lot and was supreme had like 1k matches on CSGO and he played like every day. It was really weird. It was like people just play this game more in Doha. I don't get it. I mean, I I guess, like, the thing in CSGO, right, is that even the shortest games are quite long. Like... Uh, yeah, kind of. I don't know. Or maybe it's just, like, face it, and they don't take it face it games. I guess that could yeah, be it. They don't take it face it. They don't take it, like, ESEA and stuff like yeah. that. But, um... But I think even the, uh... What's it called? Like the average game time in Dota is like what twenty eight minutes or something at the moment. Like, like you can back to back games really quickly. What what's the website? Fuck. Um, Valorant stats, and then we'll find some random guy, right? Fuck. Is Valorant good? Yeah, it's, 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 it's progress. I'm just trying to see. Like, this is like a fairly recent game, right? I'm trying to see how many matches these guys have. But yeah. So this guy, right? He's he's radiant, so he's ranked six hundred on the leaderboard, right? He has three hundred and ten wins. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay, and then let's let's find like. Wait, can you can you just climb really quickly then? Because that that there never used to be a thing in this, but like there wasn't Smurf deduction previously. Oh, this guy's got like one thousand matches apparently. But even that's like not that many matches. This guy's got uh two thousand. This guy's got one thousand wins. Um, I mean, how long has Valorant been out? Uh. Like eight months. Yeah. Okay, so having like two thousand matches in eight months is pretty intense. No, it's not eight months. Is it? No, it was like end know. of last summer, wasn't it? That keys were keys were available, I'm pretty sure. How so long the balance release date was June twenty twenty, so it's been out like nine months. So someone has two thousand matches in nine months. That's pretty ridiculous actually. I and mean, if we talk about how long that I've been playing Dota, so if it's like twelve years. Then I'd be at if I played at that rate, bloody hell. Yeah, it's a lot of games. I think what Dota you... is maybe more mentally taxing than the shooter games, though. Maybe not at a higher level, but I'd say in general, I I don't think you could grind. No, I mean, okay, no, that's that's a lie because people do. For I would say for the average player, 
you're not going to play as many Dota games in a day as you would. Well, you're not going to play as many ranked, like solo ranked games. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. I can back to back like ten unranked games, and that's fine. But I could never do ten solo queues. Yeah. I don't know why. Is it just the pressure? Like, I guess it is, right? It's also it's just taxing. It's right? mentality and everything. It's like because you can't trust people. Oh, I, think... I know that all too well. I get five messages a day from Surfix being like, "God damn, I hate my teammates." Oh, just the yeah. classic. I've been Shadow Realm Takeshi. It's happened again. No, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I, 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 my... <laughs> like, I hate my sh- my storms for it. Why can't I Bro, have another storm? Listen, for it? listen, listen. But you're Did you see that though? Game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Did you see that though? I was twenty and five, and my storm was four and twelve. Some depressing shit. Yeah, dude, it, it happens, bro. It does, yeah, it happens with every fucking game for me. See this. See this is why I kind of took a break from Dota because I found that my nights were getting ruined by I could I could maybe I could maybe win like three out of four, uh, or maybe even like two out of two, but then most nights I was maybe just like going even or just just losing it by one game, and I was just getting mad at people. I just got bo- like I I found because I didn't have a five stack. I just thought. Ugh, I'm just not enjoying myself. So I've kind of taken a little step back from Dota until I can find a bit of motivation to play. Yeah. I mean, it's actually such a bad feeling when you play like six ranked games in a row and you go three and three. And you're like, so I've just lost six hours and achieved literally nothing. Yeah. Like, and, and, I, and I hate that it's like so, like, I kind of love the feeling of playing unranked because it's so, you just have fun. You're like, that's, but ranked is just so, you just want to win so bad. Yeah. And, and yeah, and I suck as well. That's I I and because I know the game better than I, I can play the game. I can see how much I suck, and I get really frustrated. Feel it. I get, oh no! Get really frustrated at myself. Um, or yeah. I'll just be like, go super defensive. I'll be like, no, you are you are our position, not me. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, wait, why are you picking me for TP to the side? I'm meant to be here. Yeah, I, I didn't waste my TP. <laughs> oh yeah, so uh, on this website, right, most matches yeah. in Valorant is 3.7k. In nine months? What's yeah. wrong Jeez. with people? Yeah, so then the average would be, what, like maybe half of that, if not less? I assume that's, less. A, that's a like, pro player, right? I assume to be. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's a guaranteed. Is there, player, yeah. is there pro Valorant players? Yeah, yeah, of course there is. Yeah, yeah. Is it an esport? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I didn't yeah, realize yeah. they'd reach that yet. Yeah. I mean, it's it's Riot, so they're going to dump money into it, whether it's worth it or not. It's a good, apparently it's a good game. I mean, I see a lot of people playing it. Do you think uh, anyone can reach uh, like a skill bracket that they want to, or do you think it's like, yes. like people that like, no? I think that is this in Valorant. I wouldn't say that like any general? skill bracket that they want to, but people can definitely reach. Like I'd say in Dota, yeah, yeah. Like if people really wanted to try and like actually like played to improve and did like. I don't know, like high coaching and watch replays and shit like that. Pretty much everyone can reach at least like mid three k. Um, I think it's probably more. Than I that. don't think everything. I don't think everyone could reach like five k even. Not really? like it's like a really high level, but just like not everyone is good enough for games. Yeah, I mean, so you guys are all good enough to say really, but I've never, I've never breached four k, and I've been playing this game since twenty thirteen. Well, then I breached 7k. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> 7k win, Max, bro. I've been so close so many times. So I am your greatest supporter in the road to 7k. I, I'm taking taking a, a few days break from no, I'll go back oh, into it in a few days. Gotcha, okay. I mean, I hit no, a hot streak, the and, then, the and then I had a few games where I didn't feel like I was playing as clean, so I'm playing some unranked until I feel like I'm playing clean again. And you'll uh, get there. I'll go back to rank. You'll definitely get there. Like, I've definitely come to the exception. Uh, uh, acceptation? Uh, I've definitely, Acceptance? I've definitely sure. accepted that I'm just <laughs> never yeah. going to be amazing at the game. And you know what I love? All I want to be in RD2L is slightly higher value than my MMR. I want people to go, oh yeah, he's he's good for his MMR. I don't want to be. Uh, it is a very good feeling when. Yeah, like, I don't when want to be that guy that. that's like, ah, oh, no, don't, no. I no. mean, <laughs> that was. One of the drafts, I was picked for like sixty-seven coins or something. I remember that was and my that was that um, was so two minis ago. So awful. You were first picked in Div One for way too much. I and I don't know. I've never been like I got so drunk because we were playing drinking games on a stream, and uh, you had to drink 
like for every like I think it was two coins that you were overvalued, and we oh, all like no. voted on each other for like how much we were <laughs> worth. And I was put at like forty, so I did like fourteen shots or something straight away. And you just chugged the whole bottle of Jaeger or something. <laughs> I mean, I got I got binned within like twenty minutes of the stream starting, and I've never I have refused to watch the VOD because I don't want to know. <laughs> was that me that like, bit how on you? bad I was? Was that no, me that was, bought No, no, that was no, that it was, was um, seven. It was seven. The guy who yeah. got banned before my first game. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's that's, that's actually really. A really sad story. Yeah. And then I managed to rig in Kryson, but our draft was so bad anyway. We had four POS fives and a POS four in our original mm-hmm. draft. Yeah. Just make them play support heroes with more farm. It's easy. But it was like, it was me, Scalar, Play, this guy, Seven, and um, God, I can't even remember who the last one was. And like, Play was playing one, Scalar was playing three. It was scuffed. It was very scuffed. Yeah. Uh, that was a good mini, though, aside from that, I think. <laughs> it was very fun. I had great fun in our games. I, I like that mini, because that was that was a mini that Mugen won with um, yes. Dota. Uh, I think that was probably the best Div 1 has been. Or... It was incredibly competitive between the teams. It, it was very fun. Yeah, I think that was the best Div 1's been... Because uh, each time since then, it's kind of—I'd say there's only been like three or four teams in it, rather than six or seven. I mean, the one after that was um, where Barg picked me, and that felt very free. Oh, no, that wasn't mini. That was did one Sunday. Sorry. Yeah. Which is no, kind of like mini. It is similar to mini, but lower on average. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't get like the Mugans and shifts signing up. Well, not anymore. At least it's Pepe hands. I was actually yeah. looking at, so I won a season with Mugen in season 16, and I was just reminiscing and uh, looking through old season reviews and like season expectations of that season. And I came across Madsen's um, season <laughs> expectation <laughs> for that season. And one of the, te- I am like, I am not surprised he rated the team as high as it was. So the team he had in number one was KTZ, Gleet, and Tutru. What? On Wednesday. That's was very there. on a Wednesday. Yeah, with Skade, Muse, and Mav. I mean, Muse isn't even bad. Yeah, it was when we were doing six man teams, so you know maybe that played a factor. But I was like, geez. Oh, I might not be real too true. It might not be real too. True. That might be the other too true. That's slightly lower and more. If this is like the Legion mid six k too true. I don't think. When you guy. say too true, he's caught. Uh, he talked about Bron here. Oh, no. no, 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 not Von Oh, no, it, no, Legion 6k 2 tree was in another team, but I was just still looking at that team and I was like, Gleet and KTZ. Ay, 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 but then again, what Wednesday. vaults do they play? Uh, yeah, I guess that's, that is a problem. Gleet mid, KTZ 1. I mean, KTZ 1, Monka Giga. I would still, I would probably put KTZ mid because he just knows mid matchups really well. And I know Gleet does as well, but I think KTZ couldn't, tr- couldn't move that to pause one as well as Gleet could, but maybe maybe that's just me. I mean, Gleet pause one is also good, but it's a waste of Gleet. Like, Gleet's mid is why he's yeah, as good as he is. Yeah, where the IQ shines. Where the, but... galaxy... <laughs> where the gamer IQ <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, comes in on his, off, on his mid lane. I mean, but we were ranked tier, we were ranked a tier three team. And with Mugen. Three... A team with Mugen was a tier three team. We were, we were relatively new, we were relatively new to the league. So our team was um, Yugen, Muffin San, and Rue was the kind of. Oh, tri-core. that's so rigged. Uh, but but that was like Muffin's like first or second season. That was Rue's like third or fourth. Like they were pretty unknown people. Um, and we just we had a great PMA team that obviously played amazing. So so Kira found out the other day, well, like a few weeks ago. That um, I'm a much older time RD12 player that people realized because I played in season one. Really? Wait, yeah. what? Actually? I played oh. in season one when it was actually run still through Reddit. Imagine being a Redditor. <laughs> oh, I could have been <laughs> This is back when I was like 16 or something. So this is like eight <laughs> years ago. Was Did you one. win? Did you win? Uh, we came second, I think. Well, what's the point oh. then? You didn't win. Well, they, they never actually held proper finals. It got very scuffed. <laughs> what? But, um, I mean, but season one must have been... Was, is there anyone from then who is around now? Uh, there's people who play Dota from now. 
but uh, no one from ID12, I think. I think STL was around. I think STL no, was like STL. Not STL, um, SPX, sorry. SPX might have been, I don't know, to be honest. What does um, what does Chrysan do? Like, when did Chrysan start? chrysan has been playing Dota for like, I don't know, eight or nine years at least. Um, I mean, he's one of the old guard of like the UKs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Every time I've chatted to him, he seemed nice. Oh, he's lovely. He's really Seems lovely. Like a good he's Brit boy. I do love uh, the Brit. I do love the Brit representation. I feel like it doesn't exist in any other realm in Dota 2 other than in R2L or these kind of online leagues where British players yeah, I mean, just... seem to exist. <laughs> well, I mean, we've, we've slowly filtered in. Um, at least the old god of the UK is slowly filtered in. It's um, I, it's because none of the good British players are good enough to get anywhere else. That's that's, that's well, uh, the really good ones are in the close qualifiers for DPC now. Are they? Yeah. Who's who's in that team? It's a uh, symmetrical Atlantic Tanner owned me and Flensmeister. I think I've only heard one of those guys before. Yeah, but you know the saying, right? If you got a five stack of UKs, you fucking lost. Like, so they're, they're, only, fucking actually, won, they're right? only three the, UKs. The exactly. That's why they haven't really yeah, been, like, lose. Exactly. But it's, it's very scuffed. I was speaking to Taddy yesterday, and he was talking about, like, they have five core players. Um, they have a two playing four and a one playing five. And they and they beat, like, some very competitive teams, um, <laughs> which was quite funny. Um, how, how could you put yourself through that as like a one player to then say I will play five in a professional team? Why not, bro? Do you not I do it to catch me? I mean, I do it for roles, yeah. But I mean, I don't know how I'd feel if like my main role was it switched entirely on its head to like be in a pro team. I'd have I to. Know. I mean, Flems is playing super well as a one. Sorry, as a five right now. Yeah, Even yeah. I mean, like, like a rank fifty-one player. Doesn't it feel like kind of like a waste of your time or energy, right? You spend all this time playing one role and then... I mean, he's been trying to get into like a pro or something pro team for like six years. I guess, so... if, yeah, I guess you'll yeah. really anything. Would you rather? Yeah. You take what you get at some point, right? Yeah, true, yeah. true, true, true. I mean, I, I changed my main roles to get in a pro team, obviously. I mean, I'm close. Oh, yes. I mean, that, that's what I did back, back in the day when I first like got onto an actual team. Uh, I went from a, a two player to a five player. What would you say you are now? God, who knows? What do you what do you play in your ranked games? Uh, one, two, three, or four. Okay, wow, that's a that's a widespread. Max is very versatile. Yeah, yeah, I I, I knew that, but I didn't know if you were if you would narrow that to get the MMR. It depends on my mood. Like sometimes I take off mid if I feel like. Uh, Max's mid is very bad. bad. <laughs> Car carrying you on Wednesday, surface. <laughs> I mean, you lost to Panda. I'm not gonna. I don't. I hate to bring it up. Yeah, Exord and Vokka you beat him Kanko again, eventually. But uh... I mean, the matchup in Voka versus Kanko is hard enough. But uh, playing at Exord, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure everyone that we play on the Wednesday can confirm Max's mid is terrible. Yeah. No, I was... I haven't lost. Haven't mid. lost a mid lane yet. I haven't lost a mid. Lane. He's lying. That's what you think. That's what you He's think. lying. He's lying. Yeah, that's what every mid says they never lose the mid lane. Never lost a lane. Yeah, every so mid. Sometimes they just get lucky on runes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like, never lost a lane. Player. It's the better player that gets the rune. So. Why? Why are you lying, Max, bro? Well, we'll see. It. Wulad's gonna put me in my place. And, uh, yeah, actually, Dendon's gonna put me in mine, and the top's gonna destroy our off lane. Oh, that's a good team, isn't it? Well, they're currently unbeaten, but we're gonna try and put an end to that. Not gonna try. We are gonna put an end to it. I, think I mean, if we, if we only try and don't succeed, and uh, if Denden buys Midas twice, then, and, and we lose 2-0, then Cervix gets muted for two months. Ah, uh, oh, okay, I'm, I'm fully cheering. I'm fully cheering Denden's team. Sorry, Cervix. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Sorry. I'm fully in so, like, that's, Yeah, that's awesome. I, I think that's pretty funny. Cervix, why are you losing all your games? Um... Good talk. One second, I had to save myself. Yeah, I'm just watching his game right now. <laughs> you're playing a game? Right now. Yeah, he's playing right now. Oh, Surface, you're a, You come late, and then when you come, you give us, I don't know how much attention I'm you dead? Am I dead, Max? I think I'm dead. Yeah, you, you're definitely dead. Like, he's gonna use you. And then no, 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 no. My witch doctor, we're gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, in that case, then, Thunder died. Yeah. A soul that's played that much Dota, you have to have like another hobby. Oh! Right? Uh, what in games? No, or... just in general, just any other hobby. 
it could be another game it could be anything like do you do anything oh, else uh, right. can, I, can i bring up something yeah. that i learned about thunderdome when i spent time with him yeah what's sure. that uh he loves his wine and he I knows do. his wine uh, yeah so I, I worked as a sommelier um... which is ridiculous by the way like I, <laughs> I i i live in the uk as well and i i know in my town in my I'm in my dead. city the third largest city in scotland i know of I think two restaurants that have a sommelier, and I know that's not like like. Um... So there's a lot more than that in London. To be fair. Yeah, yeah, I I, I get that, but um, still, the the bar for that is ridiculously high. Still. Um, yeah, I mean, so I've been sommelier at a bunch of different Michelin restaurants, um, which is crazy. So yeah, the the bar of knowledge for that is fairly high. But um, is that yeah. is that where all your IQ goes? The wine IQ. You got the game right. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I mean, uh, wine and food. You know, I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like I do quite a lot with my time. I spend a lot of my day working at the moment. <laughs> but I mean, previously, I, I don't know. I, I don't actually know how I have this much time in the game because I used to work like 70, 75 hours a week. Um, That's because you're a gremlin. You just go home and just start <laughs> that dog gaming home. golem. Yeah, gaming golem. <laughs> Going full gods, like with the the back arch. Oh no, that is oh, yeah. depressing. Every time I see that, is depressing. That yeah. Joe Max, answer me this: Am I gonna lose this game? Uh, yes, yes, you are. Uh, oh, I already knew that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. the question you got to ask yourself, Surface, right now: Was it worth it? No. I think he, has, he has he has a lunar carry, and they have a Pudge carry. Sorry, an Ursa carry, but their Pudge is actually carrying them this game. I think. Uh, where, was, gonna... where was the sniper though? Why is this? Here's offlane, bro. I feel like they, this, they, this, they have this... a shadow blade crystal as Yasha offlane sniper at twenty minutes. Like, what's going on? I mean, Surfix is sent to the shadow realm. He always tells us. And bro, he's... my <laughs> carry is zero four. <laughs> on oh, ironically, very sad jump. But yeah, I don't know. Like, so yeah, I, I do have hobbies. I mean, I cook a lot. Um, I spend at the moment. Like, I mean it. Because it's COVID, is a bit harder. Like every other weekend, I'm off at my partner's. Mm. Like I don't know what Surfix does. Like I'll, I'll message him at, like really late, like two a.m. I'll be like, "You want to play?" And he goes, "No, I'm gonna go on my exercise bike." <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's so, bro. No degenerate. <laughs> I used to do a lot of yoga at the beginning of lockdown. I did a lot of yoga, but uh, I should probably. Shame me for working out, Takish. No, of course not, because I do it too. I'm just I'm not a two a.m. kind of guy, you know. <laughs> I wish I lived that life, man. My my working life is so I'm just so tired all the time when I'm not at work. I, I mean, kind of just like I don't know. I found that when I was working, I, I had to make such a conscious effort to like actually make sure that I was still seeing people, make sure that I was still like you know doing my hobbies and enjoying myself. It's yeah, like, like otherwise you just don't do it, and then it's really depressing. Yeah, my my big thing has been uh, to try get my eating good because I've just I've never really been great at cooking, and then no, dude, I'll teach you to cook. I've never, I've never. Well, my problem has always been my problem has always been too. the effort. My problem has always been people. I don't, I don't want <laughs> to spend. And how many times have you hours. followed through on it with it? Well, no I'm one's sh- ever taken me up on it. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't doubt the sincerity of. I do. I claim. fucking do. <laughs> it's more. I, mean, the... I don't know, bro. I've worked as a professional chef. I can teach you a thing or two. I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure you can. We'll make like a culinary school in early twelve. I mean, yeah, I mean can, who does, who does those cooking streams? Is it Bench that does ben. the cooking stream? Yeah, they no. are streams. Did you see his recent one? Yeah, I saw it. It was oh my it god, it was actually very good. I I would say personally, as a man, oh, the stream culture, production is incredible. Uh, I would if I if I was at a Michelin star restaurant and I heard that Bench was uh, the main chef, I I would eat every meal that I could get my hands on at that restaurant. Gary, I'd be, I'd be worried about food poisoning. So... Dude, I'm so worried about the sanitary risks, like of his kitchen. <laughs> well, I mean, he's made of like steel. washing chicken. Like, yeah, guys, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like <laughs> he puts some chicken in a cold pan, then tries to flip it, misses, so it falls out. <laughs> he then picks it up off the floor, rinses it in his sink. Oh, so this is raw chicken that's like been on the floor that he's rinsing in the sink, and then he puts it back into the pan. What an absolute legend, man! That's gold. And I'm actually just like. So anxious watching this happen, and then he was so he was chopping up a watermelon. So he was making a watermelon stir fry of all things, and um, so he's chopping up this watermelon. And I, I swear to God, he was 
inches away from cutting open his hand. Like, he's <laughs> holding the watermelon, like, in his left hand, and he's got this really blunt knife in his right hand oh. that he's cutting through the watermelon with. And he accidentally gets the knife, like, stuck in the skin of the watermelon. So what's his, the, the knife is, like, I don't know, an inch away from his hand at this point. And he starts, like, yanking it around to try and get it out of the skin. Oh, yes. I'm losing my mind. Like... <laughs> I mean, it's you... so funny. I, I love his like it's it's not chaotic, but it is. Like, it's so he has, chaotic. He's not trying for it to be chaotic, but it is, and I just love it. I'm there for it. I'm a I, mean, I, fan. I I really enjoy his streams, but like I was in a like a chat with Muffin, Dazzo, and Chris. We were just watching it, and you're like, oh my god, this is this is terrifying. <laughs> like this is like a horror he's show. He's oh, just an beautiful. artist. You just don't understand his creative yeah. flow, his his routine, as it were. I mean, I think you and Ben should make your own restaurant, and you could be the the smart the, sommelier. sommelier of Bench. You know? No, so I, I'm gonna I, at some point I will have my own restaurants where Bench is not. Bench can be invited to try some food. Maybe then he'll know <laughs> what good food is. But, um, oh but he's never getting into that kitchen. <laughs> Tell you what though, when 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 we can go to tournaments again and the boys can be reunited, it'll be a good time. Ah, uh, dude, I'm I'm so I was so gutted about Sweden. Yeah, me like, too. I was buzzing for that. I had like plans with Nick and Haraway. We were gonna have some amazing dinners. So I've got family in Sweden, so we used to go there quite regularly. Um, I've never been. I'm really excited. Oh yeah, it's 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 a it's a lovely country. Yeah, I think like the Nordics are the next place I want to go. I I love traveling. But um, at the moment, obviously, it's a bit tricky. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's awful. I mean, I went to Spain in sure. July when things were open for like two weeks and I managed to sneak in a wee trip. Oh, big. Because uh, cool? my, my mum li lives in there. No, it wasn't legal. I all got right. all the paperwork. Fair, fair. Um, <laughs> I mean, was it sensible? Who knows? Yeah, I, that's, so, so a lot <laughs> of people gave me that look of like, uh, was it, did you need to? And I was kind of like, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I, it was like when they I opened cinemas and like for the two weeks in December, and it's like, well, there's you know ten thousand cases a day, but the cinemas are open. Do you really do you want to risk your life to go and watch Tenet? Here, <laughs> like, I tell I you would. something. I'm never gonna look at like a popcorn. Like I'm never gonna look at like like shops or restaurants or anything the same again. I think I'm like a little bit scarred from this whole experience in terms of like sanitary wise. So I've had a lot of like chats with like people in the hospitality industry about how the industry is going to recover in the like in the time when the world actually reopens um and like people are really worried that it's just been like a mentality shift yeah but, like people won't want to go to restaurants as much anymore but it's like yeah you know, everyone's put in these massive like delivery services that so mm -hmm. these exist now when they didn't really before yeah and um and are people really going to choose to go to a restaurant and like ha take that risk or are they or are they just gonna order in? Yeah. Order in, bro. Store, store. Oh, I mean, so I have this back. Have you won yet? <laughs> no, this game's about to end. <laughs> oh no! Uh, right. oh. He's just lost Rax. His his I Luna's bought a gem out of anger. This is my sixth loss in a row. Yes. I think Come I need join to... me in three k. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, like, yeah, I, like, see when I see when I'm a see if I'm a grandparent. I bet you I'm gonna wear a mask into a shop. My my grandchildren would go, "Oh, that's so old fashioned." So you know, they're old gonna, fashioned. No, but you know no. what I mean? They're gonna look at it like yeah. I'm some like I'm paranoid. And I think of some things like my, my my grandparents do, and I'm like, "Why are you doing that?" And then again, that'll be me. Like, <laughs> I mean, if it's similar to how it was back in the 1900s, then like, um, there's just gonna be a massive party decade where everyone is like, "Well, we can go out and do things again." Yeah. Well, I mean, that was always gonna be there. I said this from day one. As soon as they say everyone can go and do stuff, everyone's going to be like, man, i got to go get a coffee now. You know? I mean, I'm pretty sure the Prime Minister of the UK has said that a million times and nothing happens. No, no, but that's going to a coffee. Like, when they reopen clubs, I think it's going to be a mess. I, I can't wait. I, I was hope. I, have I already said this? I hope that they do, like, a 24-hour news coverage. Oh, my God. Like, like, here we are in Brighton Beach. <laughs> and then <laughs> And then it's like... <laughs> Yes, we're up here in Glasgow. And, you know, like, <laughs> I think it would be so fun. And then you just can't, you just see Moyo. You just notice Moyo in the corner of your eye. Wouldn't even be in the corner, mate. In a K-hole. <laughs> be center screen.
Senator, you're like, you're right. <laughs> Teach in tomorrow. <laughs> it's like a Thursday that everything opens or something. How are you doing, kids? Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> bench dot t- Twitch dot TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, shameless plug. Shameless plug, shameless right? Plug. Yo, I, I don't think I'm going to do another episode until I get a sponsor. Ooh, I can sponsor you, bro. Sponsors. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, you want to know what the sponsor will be called? Oh. Minus 30. No, oh. I... Th- I think we get an alarm clock sponsor. True. For Surfix? Yep. I don't yeah. need one. Oh, I'm dead. I don't need one, he says. Yeah, and then he's dead. Yeah. Have I mean, I... Instant, instant karma for your lie. Have, you I ever been lie late to... sin? Have I ever been late to our Insta game still, Max? No. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> exactly. You know what, Surfix? Well done. It's a big accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, it Congratulations. You, you deserve it. No, nah, you know what? Yeah. No, nah, I'm good. Just shooting myself. Sorry, dude. This episode's gonna be a bitch to edit because I'm waiting for Surfix to lose his game. Bro, don't worry, they're on the throne. <laughs> oh, they're on I mean, the they, are, they are hitting throne. Nice. The game is about to end. But yeah. All right, six or seven floss in a row, boys. And we'll catch you next time to see if Surfix actually wins a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I find that unlikely. What the fuck, Max? Bro. <laughs>